Welcome to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I'm not Jimmy Kimmel. I'm your guest host, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> That's right. Tonight, ABC goes from blackish to shackish. <laughs> but before we get started, I have one rule tonight. If you don't laugh, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. That goes for you, too, Guillermo. The, the animal. Whatever. <laughs> for those of you wondering where Jimmy is, he's right here. <laughs> and he was delicious. <laughs> and he will be missed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do a monologue. You guys like impressions? Yeah! That's too bad, because I don't do that. <laughs> Hosting a late night show is a new thing for me. It's like when Michael Jordan decided to play baseball, except I'm going to be good at this. <laughs> I have all the things you need to host this show. A suit, a band, a stupid no-talent nemesis. <laughs> See, Jimmy has Matt Damon. And I have Charles Barkley. <laughs> He's like a balder, fatter Matt Damon. <laughs> As you may know, I have a lot of nicknames. Superman, The Diesel, <laughs> Shaq Fu, <laughs> Big Daddy. But now that I'm a late night host, I came up with a new nickname for myself. Arsenio Tall. <laughs> What about Jimmy Shakimmel? <laughs> I've got more. <laughs> Phil Donahue. <laughs> Conan Ohio one. <laughs> Shaq Parr. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey throws. <laughs> Anderson Hooper. <laughs> Black Sajak. All right, that's enough. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time tonight, but I gotta be honest, my day got off to a bad start. Aww. I woke up, had my morning bowl of Fruity Pebbles, <laughs> and saw this messed up story on the news. The Oklahoma City Thunder basketball team had a scare in the air. Take a look at the nose cone here. Something hit their plane during a recent flight and then dented it. Officials for Delta Airlines think it was a bird strike. Or shot, shooting free throws. <laughs> <laughs> Those bastards. <laughs> I'll never watch Channel 5 again. <laughs> Is everybody ready for Halloween tomorrow? <laughs> so, at my house, we do things a little different. See, the trick-or-treaters, they have to dunk on me to get candy. <laughs> Not in my house, Elsa. <laughs> Halloween candy is actually a sore subject for me. They call it fun size. <laughs> But look at this. <laughs> when you're my size, this isn't fun. <laughs> this is bull <laughs> Here, don't eat it all in one place. <laughs> By the way, my kids are here tonight. And yes, all of them are over six feet tall. <laughs> Today is take your enormous children to work day. <laughs> you see, we had to put them in the back row so they don't block any cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, guys. Love you. Speaking of kids, you know how every year Jimmy has parents pretend they ate all their kids' Halloween candy? If you haven't seen it before, it goes like this. Last night, we ate all your candy. Why? Because it was good. You ruined my life! We ate all your Halloween candy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mom. 
mommy and I last night, we were watching uh, a movie, and we ate all of your candy. Here, step up. Look at, look at it again. Oh, God. I got really, really hungry, and I ate all your Halloween candy while you were at school. How? What do you mean how I ate it? I don't want to see you ever again. Now go get a job. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but that's hilarious. Well, guess what? That YouTube challenge is happening again this year. So if you want to be part of it, here's what you do. After your kids trick or treat, pretend you ate all their candy and record it. Then put it on YouTube with the title, Hey, Jimmy Kimmel, I told my kids I ate all their Halloween candy. Don't do anything stupid to put your kids in danger and look for a message from the show. Your video could be on later this week. How am I doing so far? For me, this is super exciting. I'm halfway through my first monologue, and I've already had a late night show longer than Magic Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys want to see my favorite YouTube video of the year? Yeah. It stars a little kid who gets very sleepy in a very weird place. Joy. <laughs> We've all been there, buddy. I love that clip. In fact, I love it so much, I bought the movie rights to that young man's story. Take a look. Based on the extraordinary true story of a baby sleeping in a toilet. Toilet Baby. Rolling Stone raves, a powerful affirmation of the human spirit. The New York Times writes Shaq's best performance since Kazam. And Entertainment Weekly says, I just spent two hours watching a giant sleep in a toilet. And I loved it. Featuring Academy Award winner Morgan Freeman as the voice of the father. Joey. Joey. <laughs> I need to use the toilet. Paramount Pictures and Kohler Kitchen and Bath present. Now the f you wake me up. Toilet baby. Somebody help me out the toilet. <laughs> Your move, Meryl Street. Thanks for watching. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest videos. And if you didn't, subscribe anyway. It's free. Who cares?